We're going to be talking a lot in this class about vectors, so it's a good idea to review what we know about vectors. When I say the word vector, you probably think of an arrow, and that's a good idea because vectors have a magnitude and a direction. And if this is the vector A, we can talk about this vector as having magnitude A and direction theta, maybe theta with respect to the horizontal. And sometimes you'll see the magnitude of the vector written as the absolute value of a vector, but what that means is the length, the length of the vector. Okay, so sometimes we do that. But there's another way that we talk about vectors. And it's going to be much more useful for this class. If you remember talking about magnitudes and directions, it involved a protractor and a ruler and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the components of the vector. And the components of the vector mean that we draw a set of axes, let's say x and y. And then this vector a has components, a component in the x direction and a component in the y direction. Now, using the language of magnitude and direction, we have that the x component with a little bit of trigonometry is a cosine theta, and in the y direction is a sine theta. Um, you should check for yourself that a squared is equal to ax squared plus ay squared, because sine squared theta plus cosine where theta is always 1. If that you're feeling a little rusty on trig, now's a really good time to go and review trigonometry. Sines and cosines really are what we're going to be using here. Okay, so that means that now we have another way to talk about vectors. And we can write in shorthand that the vector a is equal to ax um, in the x direction plus a y in the y direction. Okay, this is obviously not much of a shorthand. So what we do is we define something called a unit vector. And the unit vector just has the direction in it. And it's called in the x direction i hat. The hat means that it's a unit vector, which actually has no units. If you're thinking to yourself, you've got to be kidding me. Really? Unit vector has no units? Yeah, because in this case, the unit means 1. So it just has length 1, no units. It just holds the direction. Similarly, in the y direction, it's called j hat. And so what we can do is come back and erase this longhand business that we had here. And instead of in the x direction, we'll write i hat. And instead of in the y direction, we will write, finish erasing here, we'll write j hat. And that's the other way we're going to use um, for talking about vectors. So what's the use of this new notation? The use of this new notation is really, what if you wanted to add vectors? So let's say you wanted to take a and you wanted to add this new vector b, um, which you can see just by drawing. Uh, looks something like this new vector c. But if I asked you to find the length of c using our magnitude and direction idea, well, you'd have to get out a ruler. I mean, in all seriousness, that's the way to do it. So what if you didn't want to get out a ruler? Well, what you could do is instead you would realize that the components of vector b and vector a, if I add just the components of vector a and b, what I get are the components of vector c. No rulers required. So if I'm adding vectors, I can either use sort of a ruler and a protractor, or I can use that the vector c is the x component of c i hat plus the y component of c j hat, 
And because the X components are all in the same line, I can just add them in the usual way. So I get AX and BX together. And in the Y components, I get AY and BY. So you're going to hear me say things like add as vectors. What do I mean by that? I mean that if vector A has a length 2 and vector B has a length 1, vector C doesn't have a length of 2 plus 1. It actually, in the way I've drawn it here, has a length of less than 2, actually, or maybe equal to 2. It kind of depends, right? It depends on the, on the direction. So what we do when we add as vectors is we're going to add the x parts separately and the y parts separately. Add as vectors means separate components. Add those separately. If you really want to find the magnitude of the sum, then you can just use what we had here. You can just use the Pythagorean theorem and get that C, the magnitude C, is the square root of CX squared plus CY squared, but you found those by adding just the components. So a little bit of trig can save you a lot of heartache. Separate the components with trig, add them separately, and then recombine.